determine the force P needed to support the 20 kilogram mass. I've got some 20 kilogram mass over here that's held up with this nice um, pulley rig. It's called a Spanish Burton rig. First thing you want to notice is that pulleys ropes, as long as they're frictionless and normal, have the same tension on each side. So if this one is P here pulling down, then this side, the other side of the pulley at H is P, the other side of the pulley at E is P, and the other side of the pulley at G is P. Same thing with the second rope. We've got two ropes here. I'm going to assume that this is straight up and down like it should be in the picture, so that if this is some unknown tension T, then at the other side of this, there's some tension T, and some tension T on the other side of pulley F. So I've got three T's and four P's, and then I'm going to have reactions here at A, B, and C. The second thing to note is that sometimes it takes more than one free body diagram. I actually want to start with the pulley at D, and we'll do draw a free body diagram for just the pulley at D. If I look at that one, I've got the 20 kilograms but that's a kilogram. That is not a weight. You don't put a, anything but weights on your free body diagram. So I've got 196 newtons pulling down. I have three tensions pulling up. Now, by the sum of the forces in the y direction, which is equal to zero for this pulley, basically what I have is 3t is 196.2 newtons. So the tension in the second rope is 65.4 newtons. Now, keep going. As I said, sometimes it takes more than one free body diagram to solve the problem. At this point, the next one you can look at is the pulley at F. If we draw that one, we have some reaction force coming up from C and two tensions pulling straight down. So C is going to be 2T, or 130.8 newtons. Keep going. Next, look at the pulley at E. Now I have the, a tension pulling down and three P's pulling up. 3P is equal to T. That gives you whatever the tension in that second rope is, is 21.8 newtons. So your 21.8 pull, P, is going to support the 196 newton mass. This is why you use pulleys. Keep going. We still don't know everything that we're asked to find. The pulley at H has two P's coming down and one reaction going up at A. So A is 2P. It was 43.6 newtons. And the pulley at G gives you the last bit of information you're asked for. You wanted to know what P was and what the reactions at the ceiling were. So my reaction at the third ceiling point is also going to be 2P. B is 43.6 newtons. Stop, reread the question, what were you asked to find, and then answer it. The forces needed to support the 20 kilogram mass are P is 21.8 newtons with reactions at A of 43.6 newtons, at B is 43.6 newtons, and at C is 131 newtons to three significant digits.